So the first, if you guys remember, the one that we did last, right before the fall break, had to do with the building kind of going this way, right? And what you were dealing with perspective-wise was how to deal with a building that's kind of going away from you on a flat surface. So this is a slightly different angle, but it also has the same thing. It's got a vanishing point, okay? A single vanishing point. So what does that mean? That means that if I sort of tra track each window set as it goes up, can you see I've got another piece of paper kind of attached here? Let's see, where will they meet? I have to go farther, I have to go higher up. Almost. They keep going up. You see how these guys will eventually meet at the vanishing point. It's a weird and, angle. Yeah, it's go it's looking up. But everything. Oh, are you guys are you gonna prove me wrong on this one? Here we go. Let's try this one. Why? I'm gonna go to here. They should all go to the same vanishing point. I probably should have checked this before class, eh? <laughs> here we go. If they don't go to the same vanishing point, we're going to make them here. The vanishing point is up here. There we go. Yep. Here. It's even farther up. It's like up here. There. That's the vanishing point. VP up here. Um, yeah, that actually works. It, it's funny, in this particular case, you're going to see there's a slight tweak on the top one, but we are actually going to correct that. So you can see that this leans a little bit more. That is because of uh, a problem with the camera, how the camera does not see things the way we do. So we are going to fix our windows, but everything should be going to this single vanishing point. So you see there's a little bit of a, a, a disconnect here. This window is going this way and like this. We are not going to draw it like this. We're going to draw them as if they're like this in here, because that's actually kind of correctly where those windows would be. Yeah, exactly. That's really so there's a little bit of correcting that will happen. Just these guys are at, oh, and these guys are at a slightly different vanishing. Well, they're at the same level. They're at the same height, but they're at a different place because the, the building kind of caps out a little bit. Where if I can get? Yep, that'll work. This is almost like a, this is like a separate building in a way. So once I sketch this, let me bumble through the sketch a little bit. You'll begin to see where, as we're drawing tonight, where our initial lines are going. So this is the brownstone. And I think this also, yep, that will go straight this as well. Kind of follows this edge. So we're going to start by drawing all these lines in. 
so that we know kind of where to place our windows. I could have started with a much simpler looking up. I probably should have, but I think you guys are ready for it. So do you see what's happening here? You see how all of, so these, went, this is a different building because it's actually pushing forward it closer to us. This one is going in a different direction. And it is true that these windows don't follow to this vanishing point. Although I wonder if maybe this is the issue. Nah, that's too extreme. Yeah. We're gonna the two we're gonna deal with two vanishing points here, even though we're looking up at the same place. And this one is gonna kind of lean a little bit to the right more. Because when you're looking at something with a camera, it doesn't have cone vision the way we do. Oh, hold on a second, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna get my ruler. Sorry. <laughs> Back. Sorry about that. Somebody was trying to sneak out. So I'm going to take a picture of this. So does anybody have general questions about this concept? Do you remember how perspective works? That things get narrower and uh, more narrower as they move away from us, farther away from us, right? They become more angled. It's or does this just not make any sense at all? Who's com if is anybody completely confused? As long as you're not completely confused. I think we're okay. All right, so I'm going to take a picture of this. You can see how the vanishing points look. Now, if you want, when you're sketching this out, I'm going to do this kind of small. So actually, I'm going to put my buildings. Now, let's see if I can get both of these things in here. Uh, almost. There we go. All right. So when I start, I'm going to actually, I'm, I'm putting my, I'm putting my um, paper vertical. Uh, sorry, yeah, vertical, because I'm going to do this very small. I'm going to do this about half the size. I'm going to do this like as if this was like a little mini half. So I'm going to start. You can, you are welcome to work with a full, you know, canvas sheet or paper and turn it. If you're going to do that, you should turn it horizontally. I've got a ruler, not really for measuring, but mostly for a straight edge. I'm sharpening a pencil because it's been a couple of weeks. First class back is always like, where is everything? What's going on? <laughs> it's just a week, but a lot can happen. Here we go. All right, I'm using a pencil here. The first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of draw a line straight across like this. My painting is gonna go here. And I think my sketching is gonna go up here. Um, so as I start this out, looking at where, 
The other thing I'm going to give myself as I start to sketch these lines. So the first thing I want you guys to do is to sketch these lines in the window lines, right? So how are we going to kind of figure out where they are? I think the first thing that will help us is to find where the half point of this composition is. So if I come here, oh, can't use that one. I didn't even have numbers on it. Let's see. It's basically 10, uh, 10 and a half. So 5.25 right here. Here is the halfway point in that yellow line down here. Here is the halfway point, top and bottom. Okay. Right. So this shows me kind of where some of these lines will, so can you see how I can see where some of these lines will intersect, intersect and also where they'll start? And then I'm gonna find the quarter point. So in this case, that's two point. Is that it? Yep. So see, I'm I'm finding the halfway right of each halfway. We're gonna finish this conversation about Venezuela because I want to hear more. Yeah. I'm thinking about it since. Uh, I'm depressed already. Sorry. All right. Let's not do it yet then. Ah. Let's do I it when it we. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. Okay, so here are the, these yellow points are the quarter and the half points. Now, if I mark yeah. that from the whole, across the whole composition, you can't quite see it. Can you now see it? Oh, dang it, no, wrong way. Trying to get it so we can see. That's stupid here. We can kind of see almost everything. Yeah. Here's the end of this. Here's the beginning and end of this. So these are the half and the quarter points. So now I'm going to come here and I'm going to find the half and the quarter points. I can use a ruler to do this, or I can measure, just guess. I'm going to use a ruler. 4.5, which means 2.25. See how I'm marking these out? These are the, these are the quarter points. Now I'm going to mark them here, too, so that they help me kind of figure out Uh, cityscapes are really tedious you guys this is like part of the tedium of them it's kind of funny uh and what i can see here is that this line right this one here i'll mark it with a little star this one lines up at the quarter point here and it lines up almost exactly with the halfway point as it comes up here so when i'm sketching I'm gonna start my ruler here. I'm just double checking. I have the same thing on the top that I have on the body. Yep. I'm gonna start here at the quarter point at the bottom and here at the, and then, there I go. I have my first window edge. See that? So does that make sense? We're gonna start like that. That's this line right here and then i'm just gonna go one literally halfway here to stop finish so you're, dra you're drawing that from the third to the middle no the second from the quarter to the middle right and then 
I can see that it ends just a little bit this way. And if I, well, I wonder if I can make, make my vanishing point show up. Let's see if I can do that here. I'm going to draw this all the way up. This part that's on top is not my, right? I'll cut it off later. So let's see. I know that this comes here and that they have to meet right at the same place. Oh yeah, my vanishing point is up here. So I'm also kind of looking at where like these lines intersect here. So now I've got the edge of the building. And actually, if I wanted to, I could kind of come down. Well, no, we'll get there later. I've just drawn this one. And just to make sure it's clear, I'll mark it like this. This is the first set of lines that we have drawn. The next one, which is here, this is about halfway, halfway between the quarter and the halfway point. So it's just literally like halfway other side, pretty much the same distance as here to here. Here to here is the same distance as here to here. Yeah, pretty much. And then you'll see that this line, if this is the halfway point, right? This comes just a little bit to the left of the halfway point. Well, that should work. And also, when I draw the line, they should meet in one place. Yeah. Leah, how did you select the first vanishing point? I found out. I, I, how did I find this one? I looked yeah. at where all these met. Oh, okay. From that. From what the whole thing that we did at the beginning, I looked at. I drew the lines. No, no, no. On the, on the. Okay. Ooh, I think you're. You might have. You might be miss uh, calling this. I, maybe you mean something else. No, you mean no. how did I decide to draw my first line? How, which no, one? Yeah, this your line? first, your no, the first one, the the second. This one. The, yeah, you drew that to the vanishing. How did you get that point on the top? This here. Yeah, yeah. Because I drew. Because I just I lined up the I lined up the ruler oh, that. with where it goes, and then I just took it to the. Oh, I, I just took it farther. So that's how vanishing points work. Oh. So I'm going to take a picture of this. And because I want to make sure you guys get it. And if your proportions are different, this might come out slightly differently. That's totally OK. We might not have you might run out of room on one side or the other. That's not really problematic. Don't worry about it. Mostly. We're just kind of going for an approximation. So I'm going to take a picture of this and then I'm going to send it in and I want you guys to send me yours, see how we're going. It's I know this is tedious and kind of, but this is what cityscape painting is. <laughs> also, I probably could have picked an easier subject, sorry. <laughs> but you like it, right? It's a cool looking subject. So we are going to push through and get it done. There we go. Paul, I can't see the edge of your paper. I'm oh, sorry. I can't. You, you got to show me your whole paper. You've got to take a picture straight up off it. You know. Here, let's try it. Yeah, try it again. Uh, your your phone is tilted. 
that's going to your phone should be straight up and down your phone should be straight up like this right to get a straight shot okay if your phone is tilted then i'm getting a slant i'm just getting a skewed shot a skewed shot of a skewed image is like the worst Um, that's actually looking pretty good, Paul. Looking good so far. So the three we've got that I've drawn here are this. I'll draw them in white so you guys can see them as distinguished. These are the three lines we've got so far. Those three. We've also got, and I should probably mark this out. We've got a tree here. We're going to practice. Let's sketch it in just so you can kind of see how it interacts. This is very much the kind of thing I used to do all the time. This is very much like uh, a kind of favorite view of mine. So Paul, you did these two, I think, and now you just need to do this one. Where I'm pointing, this one. Okay, yeah, I could do that. That's where the windows are. Mariana, let me see yours when you're ready. Point, point. Yep, I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to push you to go faster. I just no, want. Okay. You said you had. I had to erase because I had it wrong. Right. That's okay. Hey. This is how you learn how to do it, right? This is very complicated. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and like God, I mean, it's simple and it's also complicated at the same time. <laughs> like, it's like, it's a, it's funny. It's not, well, I wouldn't call it simple. I would say it's fairly straightforward, but it's still complicated. It's easy to make mistakes. When you're here, let's see, get another color. The next one. So maybe I can do this with pink. I'm sketching the next window set in pink so you can kind of see it. So when an art teacher, you will often hear uh, professionally trained teachers say, I can tell when a student is painting from a photo. And they often mean things like this because the photo skews perspective. So it's not actually, you know what I mean, correct? So it's, uh, you will often hear that being said. All right, and what I like about this, is that this line, the first pink line, why did I just do it? My attack. No. Pencil, let me set it down. Um, this one starts right at the bottom at the halfway point, which will be here. Right, this one starts here and eh, now we're gonna wanna lead it up to here. So this is the second window set. So this is window one, windows one, Now I'm gonna to have to do a little bit more guesswork. I'm lining my um, ruler up with the vanishing point at the top and then bringing it almost, almost straight down. So this is window set number two. Notice they're bigger here. <laughs> and then we have a second vanishing point. Why? 
if we have two buildings here. I should have cut this off here. It would have been easier. Do you guys want me to do that? Or do you want to include this bay window as well? This third window line. I I included because I'm using the, the paper horizontally. Oh, great. Okay, let's do it then. But, yeah. But what the heck? Let's do it. So this is window line two. The kind of bay window. Mm, I think this one needs to go in a little bit. Okay, maybe that one a little bit too straight. We need a little bit more room for my bay window. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Here's this one, and here's this one. This line is almost straight up and down. I think it is straight up and down, actually. It's funny. This one's angled. Is, is, is that mine or what's that? Is that is are you talking about mine or oh I didn't look at yours. I'm sorry. Oh, Let me look. Oh. You just sent it in. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was going ahead. I can't see this, honey. Can you uh. give me in? I need a better view. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to have the paper straight. That's like a... uh just draw your lines a little darker. Let me try to take the photo in another way. Yeah. I can't see that. Can anybody else see that? I can't see that. I could sort of see that. I can, yeah. We'll try again. Can you show me your vanishing point? Do you have a vanishing point or did you? Uh, not? I didn't. I, yeah, it is going okay. up, but but it surpasses my my, my border. So okay. I see um, it. I would like to. So you can right. So you're just trying to locate where you think these are about here. Yeah. I but, mean, I just. Well. I, even if you don't actually have this here, mm -hmm. you can still check it, right? Yeah. Right, like this, right? Keep mm -hmm. this kind of here. Check that, right, at the 1.2 for, yep. Kind mm -hmm. of keep it at one point and make sure it's, it's, it's staying stable here mm -hmm. and it's just shifting here. So you can check them that way. All right, let's see. I'm still really struggling to see this. I'm going to have to edit this. Let's see. I just. Uh, I think I might have to erase mine because. I don't think there's enough room. Um, We'll get there. Hold on. That's what this I lesson have, is all I about. Have, from that straight line down, I have about. It's two and a half inches to the to the end of the paper. Is that right? That's wrong because I think you have more room. Hold on, I'm right getting thing. confused. I want to look at Mariana's. Mariana, just go over with your pencil one more time. I need to see these lines. I can't okay. see them. Okay. You just need to go harder. I know you don't want to, but it's no, just going to have to happen. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Because mostly they'll be in the structure of the painting. I just can't read it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to. All right, let's see, Paul. Um, I think yours is in pretty good shape, Paul, actually. I think you're in pretty good shape so far, believe it or not. I have a bad feeling I'm going to run out of room on the other side, but if you say so. Um, I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't could, go, okay. right? Yeah. Like, this is included really just a little bit beyond the last quarter. There, right? This is this it ends here. It's really here's the quarter point and here's where your bay window is. It's just in that final quarter here. Just a little bit beyond it. So you're okay. Um you know what Paul maybe bring here. Hold on. I need to do the same thing so I'm going to have you do this. Maybe uh, 
this last line here to the far right, the last one that you drew. Right. Bring it a little bit further left. Like slanted or just? No, uh, no. Start it a little further left, just like okay. I'm doing here. Right? And then draw it straight up. Okay, yeah, I can do just that. Just a little bit Just more a little space. curve, yeah. No, no, there's not. You won't really have a curve. You'll still go straight. All these lines are straight, really, That's slightly true. curved. But I brought this point. Well, yeah, it's just not 90 degrees, basically. It's, it's, not, like right. a it's not a straight. Um... Yeah, so scoot this one just a little bit in, and then you will have the room you need. Okay, you got it, Marianne? Yeah, take it on the picture. Okay. I'm sorry. Normally, I will like let you have your soft lines, but today <laughs> I have to be able to see this. Yes, I'm almost blind also today. After yeah. so I don't know why. I maybe I need read. Maybe I could see it better with readers, but it's just. Okay. It seems to me like you have too much. I can already feel it already feels like you've got too much space between these things. So that's why I need to look at it. I want to see where you're placing everything. Okay. Almost see it. And can you also please mark your halfway points on the top and the bottom of your horizon? Yeah. Yeah. Mark it with a dot so I can see it too. I mean, I'll be able to check it, but. Yeah, there you go, Paul. Exactly, yeah, slide like, yeah. Yep, yep. Now you'll have plenty of room. So Paul, you're gonna go on to do this last, we're gonna sort of incorporate the bay windows. So these are the lines we're gonna draw first. I'll draw them in yellow. I'm gonna be this line and this line. So you can see that this line starts Ah, interesting. This time starts just a little bit to the right. I'm drawing this line now where my finger is. And if you can see here, hold on just a little bit so you can see. If you can see this, this line where my finger is pointing, it starts just to the right of this one line that you just redrew. So we start here. And then actually we go right through the quarter point on the top. So on the top, we draw like this. And this is kind of that big, where those that bay window is going to sit and then over here okay hang on we're gonna have to figure out this last line I, we're gonna have to find the halfway point okay so mariana you're right so the line that looks good. Marianne, I want to credit you on your measurements. You're doing a good job. All right. All right. Going back to the beginning, uh -huh. I want you to check this line, which is the second from the end, right? Okay. And it's yeah. here, this window. Mm -hmm. It should start at the quarter point, one quarter. And it should cross the top the top of your paper at the halfway point. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So is that happening? Nope. All right. So that's where you need to start. Yeah, I see your point. You I see you my know point? the problem is that I cannot see. I'm confused because I cannot really see in the drawing because of the tree. 
You just the, have to draw right past the tree. Yeah, no, 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 yes, but the line that you have in white on the left. Okay, would you like me to draw it in a different way? But that's not the no, line no, we're drawing. No, I can drawing. see yours, I can see yours. I just, I cannot see it in the drawing, but I can see yours, yes. Okay, so you can't see this in the drawing at all? In the I'll drawing, fix not that. In yours, in here it yours. is, yeah. how is that? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, that helps. Yeah. Can you see that? See I yeah. got you. I got yeah. you. So this is not the one we're drawing. You're drawing this line because it's an easy one yeah, to yeah. locate. So yeah, this yeah, is, that one is, is fine. one, the and then this the is yeah. two, and then this is three. And what's nice about these three, this starts at the quarter point. This starts eh, about halfway mm -hmm. between the quarter and the end. And this starts halfway between the quarter and the middle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So these are the, make sure these three start at the right places, and then you'll see it'll be a little bit easier to see. I get it, but trust me, I totally get it. <laughs> it's like it's just like a. It's hard to see. It's easy to get confused. Here's the halfway point. Mm -hmm. Here's the one quarter. Here's the three quarters, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, here's the halfway. Here's the, let's see, that's halfway. This is one quarter, one quarter. This one here is three quarters, right? Or one quarter. It's hard to kind of keep everything. Once you start getting lines down, that's where it gets tricky. All right, to find this guy, and don't worry, Marianne, I'm gonna come back to this as we do this. Um, to find where this guy goes, I'm gonna actually find the halfway point between the top of this this here, the paper on this side. Um, I should just fold this up because I don't even want it there to confuse anybody. There we go. So our last section, actually, it starts down here, but on the other side, it starts here up on the side of the paper. So here, let's see. Diana, do you actually find this interesting to listen to or are we just being your company right now? You're my company. Okay, so it's a little tedious. It's fun. But, but that is painting, right? Like in some ways it's like really tedious. Okay, so this is eight and a half. 4.25. So the halfway point is here. So I'm going to mark this one half. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Yeah. Right here. So this is half, <laughs> just to get it more confusing. And if I want to draw this straight across, this is the halfway point. Let me draw it in something heavy that we all can see. This yellow, Mariana, that's pretty good for you, right? Yeah, yellow okay. is much better. So this yellow is like, going across is the halfway point okay. from on the vertical distance. And then what you can see here is that this line kind of just starts a little bit below the halfway point, tiny bit. Okay. This is 6.2, so that would be only would be the one thing I can't read out here. Can I read you? Yes. 
all my paintings end up with paint on them. I can't do that one either. There, hold on. Somewhere I have a ruler that doesn't have paint on the free area. All right, here, there we go. Let's so here's my halfway point. Who's is that Coco? Yeah, Barking? that's Coco. Yes, Barker? it's Coco. I recognize her little bark. She's been barking. He's been barking. All right. Yeah. So here's my halfway point. Do you see how I got here, Paul? And then right uh -huh. below this here is where my line on my oh, other yeah, side yeah. of my bed. You see my point? Yeah. Yeah, I see that. So then I just go here. I line up with my vanishing point. Or I try to figure out a little bit where this point is. And then so window group here. Window group here, window group here. Okay, you guys, once we get this done, it gets fun. <laughs> so once we get like, I swear to God, it's going to get fun. <laughs> Venezuela, Ukraine. What's going on in Venezuela? Oh. <laughs> It's they control their fucking bastards. <laughs> are they? Are they? they uh, because America is trying to get oil from them, right? Now they want it. Yeah. Before they didn't want it. Now they want it back. Now right. they want to. Much. And now, yeah. Venezuela's well, like, now they want it back. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hugo was uh, Hugo Chavez, you know, after he passed away, the whole country went to shambles, yeah. you know. To mayhem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still not well, sure. It was about already, it. was already, was already, to be honest, but you couldn't tell. Yeah. Right? He was put, he was seeming that way. Yeah, he was, he was leading that way. It was leading towards cows already, but because oil uh, prices were off, we couldn't see it, you know? Then, yeah. Maduro I just had don't... bad luck of having uh, low oil prices. So, is that what you're working on now? Yeah, she's an oil reporter. Really? Yeah. She's oh, the man. she knows everything about oil. So she says, so she's disappointed. I said I thought Brian Biden was doing well in certain ways. And she's like, he's not being tough enough with Venezuela with Venezuela. Is that what with you're Maduro, saying? I mean with Maduro. It's yeah. funny how this with story Maduro. just went straight into goes straight into politics, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's true. You're right. So I, I don't think you're wrong. Mariana, it's just what would you do in that situation? I don't know. <laughs> it's like what? No, 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 no. I mean, you know, the hardest thing is you do something, it affects things. You don't do something, and it's not like it's something he started. It's just no. something that like somebody else started, and that's the complexity of it. So no, tough. I I agree. I and uh, as a Venezuelan, I couldn't tell you today how can we fix it. No idea. But I can tell you the mistake if they have they have made. Sure. What are the mistakes? Well, for with Biden, this whole idea of bringing back the Venezuelan barrels is not a good idea. It's not. Yeah. You're just replacing the Russian barrel from a dictatorship with another dictatorship. Right. Okay. Right. It's no better. Got it. No better. Yeah. Got Little it. better. When when Little was that better. policy? That policy was put into place like uh, how many years ago was that? Because it, it was put uh, into place. Functions? Yeah. <laughs> It was during Chavez's uh, time, wasn't 2019, it? 2019. Oh, okay. Okay. It was yeah, after... it's not so it's not so old. Uh it was during okay. Trump. Yeah. It's Trump's time, yeah. Oh, Trump put in the sanctions. He he instituted the sanctions. Trump, Trump, um, Obama started the sanctions, to be honest. Obama yes. started Obama started. The sanctions, okay. But the yes, that's Obama, true. Obama did were were ways were were easier than Trump's. Trump had a thing called maximum pressure pressure strategy. Which was supposed to pretty much left Maduro out and didn't. 
So that's the whole that's that's the whole problem that they couldn't. Now the guy is staying there like super super firm. Right, because yeah. now he's needed, now Maduro is going to get and... going to start raking in the uh, the benefits. And, but the uh, problem is only one guy is really going to. Well, unless they have, like, unless they overthrow him again and they start a, I mean, if there's an election, right? Because there's no election, so right now it's like super complicated. Uh, there's no uh, power in Venezuela, not even the Congress that that stays elected. All of them. What a their, mess. Their, their uh, terms have expired of all of the powers, including the Congress. So nobody is really elected anymore. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I I now your frustration is making total sense to me. Right. Yeah. You can't fix every damn pro the problem is <clears throat> there is I don't know. At the end of the day he is kind of old and it's a lot of there's a lot of it the, you can't really win really. That's just the truth of it. He's kind of taking care of the short term thing, partly because he knows Americans will be freaking out and losing midterms, right? If we don't get oil here. So it's funny. It's like, it, like everybody's kind of trying to deal with it based on a, what I need versus what really needs to happen. Yeah, but, but what I was trying to say before is that you don't need here in the U.S. the Venezuelan barrels anymore. You replace them already. We just don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't need them. We don't need them. No. So he's acting like we need them? He's acting like we need them, but it is because the Europeans need it, which is a different thing. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. I get it totally. Are you writing like stories every day, Mariana? Is it changing and nuancing every day? I mean, not right now. When sanctions started, yes, it was an everyday thing in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, then COVID lockdown and such uh, watered it down a little bit. And, mm -hmm. and obviously Trump's exit also, right? Right. Then, uh, right now, it's just more of a political chaos than an economic chaos as it was before. Right. And, uh so yeah so so because the economy is not so bad people is not so the country is not so in a in a in a in a horrible urgently need right state but i don't know how to say it but the but the, but the political outcome is, is is increasingly difficult because if there's right. no election there's no way to have a de democracy anymore so right the more right. you let it pass you know the more it gets into cuba style yeah situation. leadership that is yeah. gonna last forever yeah yep 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 and we won't deal with it because we're dealing with our short term and europe's short term always and, you know always yeah. they're having always a, a, an excuse for you know all, it's not an excuse but a situation with elections in the u.s in the middle of course it is right uh, the biden biden's problem right now is that his fellow democrats in the congress have have a, a firmer stand on Venezuela than himself right so he has a position within his, its ranks on the Venezuelan policy. And his people aren't very good is the most important thing. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, some of them are, some of them not, of course. Uh, so by, the, by, 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 by example, the guy that is leading the Middle East policy, Amos Hoshting is not really doing a good job. Right. And the guys on the Venezuela side don't really know shit about Venezuela. Right. They're not getting how they don't have the history or they don't understand the history. They don't understand the complexity of it. They are they are mm -hmm. they are young people. Yeah, they don't understand it. They have not I dealt with it. it before. Yeah. They're not got it. I got it. I hear exactly what you're saying. All right. When you guys get to this point, by the way, then it'll I promise you this will start to get kind of fun as a drawing. You're gonna love it because all the hard work has been done. <laughs> it only took us an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Excellent. Would it be helpful if I sent a picture of this, these up close so you guys can yeah. see them? Okay, yeah. let me do that. I'm going to send this. This send. has confused me a lot because of the yeah. because of the molding, I will say it is. You don't even think about, but you're not even at the molding. You shouldn't be thinking about the molding. You're no, just no, looking. For measuring, I don't know where things are because I don't know. So, you know, the borders are confusing to me because, by example, the window has one, two, three, four different lines in the molding. Well, right, but everything, that's all internal. The lines yeah. that you're drawing are the external are lines. external, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're not even thinking, the only, they should, that should not be confusing at all, Mariana. No, 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 you shouldn't. I, I saw your drawing, I understood it, but when, when I was measuring it, the lines were confusing me. Um. Yeah, so the lines are, and the reason the lines are confusing you, if you remember correctly, is that this window, when we correct the perspective, yeah. the window shifts. So you uh -huh. have to just ignore all of this yes yeah you have to ignore those right the, the we're correcting the perspective so people don't look at our drawing and go oh they obviously work from a photograph because the photograph isn't isn't correct i remember having a, a doing a commission once with a very skewed looking up perspective at a building and um i had terrible i worked from a photograph i could not get it to work and later I realized it was because I was working from a photo. I had to correct the perspective myself. I didn't right? know that. That's interesting. Yeah, you have to. So what 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 is the problem with the photos? Photos don't photos don't work like the human eye. They are not the human eye. The human eye has a very complex set of cone vision. Yeah. Yeah, it's, right? it's like a, a camera like a is not a like... human eye. It's a, a camera is not a human eye. So it doesn't have the complexity. It flattens things that shouldn't be flattened. I got you. Essentially is what is uh, the sort of simple way of thinking about that is, is what happens. It's simple. It's simple. It, it flattens things that shouldn't be flattened. And that's why, that's why. So yeah, you just have to kind of ignore all this because this is where, I mean, obviously your moldings are going to go a little bit over on each side, but we are not going to worry about that too much right now. We're just, we want to get our perspective correct. Our perspective. And as always with drawing, we start with the outside in, right? We start with the biggest shapes first, and then we move to the least big shapes, the smaller shapes within. That is a very logical thing to do. People will are people who don't know anything about drawing will argue with you about it all the time. It's not our instinct, but it's logical to start with the biggest shapes first and then move inward. But nobody really wants to do that. Like, like on our own, we don't want to do that. We all want to do it like this hard way. Paul, do you have all these lines? I have everything except the window in the middle. I'm not asking you to draw the windows. I just want to see the lines. I want to see okay. this line across the middle. I want to see these lines, only the yellow lines. That's the only ones um, we should be looking at right now. I don't want you going any further than that until I see that you've got it. Now, yeah, I have, I, did I send it? I didn't send it to you. Let me send it to you. Not in the sense. Send it over to me. Before you get going on anything else, I want to see it. This is definitely one of those things like Ikea furniture. <laughs> if you don't, 
if you don't get it right, all the steps. Something's backward. Something's going to be backwards. You miss. Practice. You have to start all over again. You have to yeah. do every step in its turn. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I just, say, I just put together a guest bed for as we're going to have so many. So, oh, yeah, people, people coming to visit you? Yeah. So I had, had to create another guest room. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. So you know this firsthand. Anyway, you're Swedish, so you really know this. Yeah, I um, know it. I have it in it. my blood, right? Right, exactly. Paul, that looks perfect. So here's now what I want you to do. Now I want you to find the halfway point exactly oh, okay. here and, and here, and you're going to draw a line straight across because, as you can see, that's actually the dividing line between it's the bottom line of these. This oh, I, I've actually windows. marked that. I didn't draw it. I'm draw sorry, it in. It. Draw it in. Yeah, it's marked. Oh, Diana, that looks in. great. Look at that. This is my outdoor studio. And this yeah. is my IKEA piece of furniture that I put together. Let's see. With, oh, with, the with Julia. Yay. Look at that. How long did that take? It took me almost a day. I uh, know it didn't quite, but it took a few hours actually because it's so many parts. It, it's one oh. of those beds that expands, expands also to right. a double bed. I had the same one. I had the same one, Diana. Did you do? It's yeah, good, yeah on a white on a white paint. Uh, yeah, but exactly the same. And every time we have to move from a room to another, it's like <laughs> such a pain. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I have I have one guy moving in with us. You said that. Totally moving yeah. in. Yeah. It totally moving in, yeah. Uh, can he cook? Or until he gets on his feet. So can uh, he cook? No. Rats. <laughs> yeah. He he cannot cook and he's completely not practical. He's and, a, I, is he entertaining at least? Yeah, he's super nice. He's an actor and he's so, yeah, he's a super, super nice guy. Good. So he'll be good company anyway. Yeah, well. And then You'll I have, see. A, yeah, then I have a friend from Sweden coming over for three weeks and another one coming over from Sweden for two weeks. And they're all here at the same time. Wonderful. So this room will be turned back into a guest room too. <laughs> Where? So you need to go outside basically is your point. Yeah, well, but it's also nice now when it's not so hot. Yeah. This is just the time where we start taking things in. But I get it. All right. Yeah. So I'm starting to sketch some of the outside building shapes. You can see here in yellow. So let's see. Here is my half. Here's my quarter. My half. My, my quarter on this side. Here is my quarter, my half, my quarter on this side. So this kind of helps me see where things are. So if I get find my quarter here, yep, if I find my quarter point right here, I can see that it's a little, it's more than half, it's it's closer to the top edge here. Here's the top of the, here is the top of my building. Kind of comes down just a little bit, but then it just really goes straight across to here. Uh, actually, it stops here. 
at this edge, and then it comes down, up, right, and then over. And then the rest of it is tree, which I'm just gonna sketch in. And you can see because you have all these lines, it's gonna be really easy to sketch the tree because you kind of know, you can use the lines as kind of an outer shape. See how that works? So here's the top of my painting. Here is my sky. Here, let's just make this really clear so you can see it here. Here's the top of the source. I've just run that, that line right across so you guys can really see it. I can suppose I could bring it down a little lower if I wanted to, but I, I, I think we're a little flexible here. And don't worry, we're just going to spend as long as we need to here. So we're so we're blocking out these bigger shapes. Oh, I have some bad news about Teddy. Oh no, is he sick? Um, or did he not bite quite. someone? He didn't bite someone. He just, I think he was afraid he would bite someone, and he he uh, he got or he got caught in the current. He he jumped over. I was visit. We were visiting family, and uh, there was a little wall, but it was he jumped over it. Uh, I should have tied him up. I didn't. I didn't. I thought he, he ran stay. away. Uh, well, she, well, my cousin got him, she ran after him, but then he kind of like nodded at her. And so then he, and then he, he, then he was like, I did a bad thing. And so we just like bolted towards the, uh, the channel. And I think he just ran into the channel. You mean he's uh, gone? He's gone. What? Oh, Jesus, yeah. Paul. That's terrible. I just, I just wanted to visit for like five minutes and then Teddy just ended up going. We just stopped for five minutes. I was upstairs. I took Coco upstairs. She was just in my lap, and they're like, "Paul, Teddy's gone." And then I ran the other way. I, I could like if I ran towards him, I could have gotten him. But um, I'm sorry, Paul. That's terrible. Yeah, it's really awful. It's really sad. He was such a good dog too. So has he? Are you sure he drowned? Yeah, yeah. They found him and everything. Oh God. But that was the thing. It's like I was like I, I. They were like he's going that way. It's like he's got nowhere to go. But I didn't think he would go in the water. So I was just like kind of like taking my time. I should have just. I had I ran over there, but I probably would have been too tired to, to jump in the ocean at that point. It's like half a mile. I could have like I could have driven over there or something. I'm sorry, Paul. That's really sad. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. It's really sad. Yeah. That dog was a funny dog, though. Strange he dog. Was a funny, he was a strange dog. He was a strange dog. Oh, that's really sad. We're sorry, yeah. Teddy. So I guess we have to find another dog for Coco now. Or <laughs> maybe, maybe Coco will be just fine on her own. Yeah. The, oh. All the pounds are over flooding with dogs. Go get a dog then. There are so many dogs that they don't even have their own kennels. They just, they can be two and three dogs in each little kennel that is made for one dog. Because people got pandemic dogs. And then when the pandemic is over, they feel like we don't need a dog anymore. I hate people. 
I shouldn't say that on recording. I still, I hate it. It's okay. It's an awful. Yeah. Um, we, there's a tendency for the human being to use without thinking yeah. about consequence. That's been our whole conversation. I'm really sorry, Paul. That is very, you must be yeah. really upset. Well, yeah, it's just like everyone is upset and uh, it's just, yeah, it's just something that where you think about it, it's like, you know, I didn't, I, I was, <laughs> we, were, we were like, we, it was like a great day for him, but like, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have, uh, you know, you feel like you should have done something more to save him, you know. But you didn't know or what he just, was going to do. Or just tie him up. I didn't, I didn't want to tie him up. That was my thing. I was like, oh, you know, it's bad enough I'm leaving him out here on his own. I, I shouldn't tie him up, you know, mm -hmm. but tie the damn dog up, you know. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. So come on. So. Yeah. And go get another dog. Get three. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. All right, guys, where you at? Show me. The bigger question is, how do we get people, how do we get us all to behave better? Like, how do we get to be less selfish and less reactive and more, I mean, I don't know how we get like all of us to stop like instinctively just thinking about the short term, you know what I mean? Like what's good for you and not necessarily seeing the bigger picture. It's frustrating, let's see. I don't know. Paul, this is looking great. Yeah, so if you want to, you can start adding in the windows. And here's what I would do first, before you start drawing the windows, start doing the cross, the bottoms of the windows. Right, so here, the bottoms of the windows go like that, right? They go here. If you want to, you can also do the tops of the windows, like the top of this molding. So you want these lines to go across. Because we know these lines are kind of perfectly straight. Then here's this one. And when you're drawing these lines, you notice kind of where they are in relation to the quarter and the half points. So I'll send these over too, so you guys can see this more clearly. The next set of yellow lines are the horizontal ones. Are you okay, Paul, having talked about this? Is it? What do you mean? 
are you upset? Is it upsetting to talk about? No, no, it's not upsetting. It just, uh, you know, yeah, no, it's not that upsetting. I mean, it's, okay. I'm kind of, it was bad for like, I was really, we were really sad for, for like first last week. Yeah. But like, it's better now, you know. Right. Okay. Just yeah, check. because, uh, because, you know, I mean, come on. I mean, the dog, how many dog? like, you don't like the dog, you know, just, you know, he's gone, you know. Yeah. And then it's, you know, it, I feel bad because, like, you know, it could have been avoided. Well, you saved that dog. Yeah, you but still. You know. Well, you that's the thing. I, I had just started disciplining the dog and, like, you know, because he was, like, I had just started disciplining it. And then, you know, then he took, he might have, he took, maybe took it out of context because you're not supposed to, you know, when you when, like think about like your kid you take your kid out to disneyland and then you go visit and then you're like okay sit outside you know like that kind of thing he went to the dog park and then like he was and then i was like okay now you're gonna have to sit outside i didn't want him to sit outside it's just like he wasn't allowed inside i mean there's nothing i could have done about it be right back hang on Oh, let's not forget this top window ledge here. There's the tops of the windows. By the time we get to painting this thing, it'll be so easy. You guys will be like, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna take a picture one more time. Well, not one more time. Here's another one with all the yellow horizontal lines that you're gonna to wanna to get in first. Mariana, how you doing? I'm a little lost. Um... I think I have to correct the lines, but Victor is not feeling well, so I'm not focused. Um, I got you. So you're like a little bit worried about it. Yes, um, this will be recorded, but also maybe it just means we'll have this recorded so you can look at this again. <laughs> all of our depression and like, like all those <laughs> sad things. But you know what? We're going to have this lesson recorded, so you will be able to go back over and correct. Or do you need to take care of him or? Yeah, yeah, he's not. He has a stomach bug, and he was feeling better today. So I was planning to send him to school tomorrow, but now he's throwing up again. So that's not good. Uh, yeah. Um. Of course, you're worried about that. So do you want to stop now and maybe try it again? Yeah, I'm gonna stop, and I'm seeing that my 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 horizontal lines are fine, but the verticals are not fine. So I'm wondering if I should try to make it vertical in a way that I can see the vanishing point because this way I'm com so confused. Uh, so maybe give yourself a second piece of paper on top. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Just lay yeah. a second piece of paper, tape it underneath. Yeah. And then I'm that'll help that you. Because this is confusing me because I don't see the lines as you are drawing them. So mm -hmm. I can follow yours, you know? But you can see them now, right? Like as I'm yeah. drawing them? Okay. Yeah, in yours, I can totally see. But when I try to replicate what you're doing there, here, I- Yeah, I, I yeah. think you need the place to bring your vanishing point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you need a place to bring your vanishing point to. Eventually, you'll get to the point where, you know, you're drawing, we're really drawing from life. So you won't, you'll just kind of be able to measure and see where it goes, right? like your vanishing point, uh, but for now, mark it so that you can see where it is. Yeah. Um, I'm the, sorry. I love this exercise of doing architectural drawing. I, right, I, why not? I mean, right, like, and I'm sorry, this was slightly trickier, but I still think it's a good lesson for you guys. Um, I like, the, I like the, 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 the window, how do you call it? The, um, bay window i like the bay yeah window. isn't that neat so that's gonna be kind of right in here yeah right so um well if you need to stop go ahead and stop 
Okay. Uh, or if you want to just go check it, aren't you in Victor's room? I mean, his room, but he he wants to to go sleep. So. Okay. Yeah. You need to find it. We need to find another place for you to do your work. <laughs> you know, you're paying at least half that damn mortgage, if not more. You should be able to have a a small room of your. They're gonna own. send me to the garage, Leah. I don't want to go to the garage. The they garage. Want to... That's it's not cold, right. It's super cold. That's not right. Uh, we'll get you. We're gonna figure this out for you. Yeah. Uh, actually, Mariana, here's your assignment. I want you to send me a picture of every room in your house. All right, okay? I will. You're gonna say, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, use the twins room because- it's Of empty. course I'm going to say use the twins room, but <laughs> I know they're gonna come. But... I know, so but I have use emotional the twins. problems with it. <laughs> you have emotion, you're missing the twins too much? No, yeah, totally. And I don't wanna touch it yet. They're not dead. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, no, they're coming, they're coming for Thanksgiving, maybe after that. But all right. Yeah. I wonder if there's something you really need to use the twins. You need a place to do your own work. I, do you know You're what doing? I need a solution for using that room? And then when they come, use it for them. That's right. That, exactly. Yeah. They can use it when they're there, but they're yeah. just not gonna use it when you're but it gotta be in a way that I can like I don't know, like like pull the beds to the wall. Yes, you know, yes, yes. There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Hey, okay, Sunny. guys. I'm leaving. Thank you. All much. right, Mariano. Uh, so take a look tomorrow. Check out yeah. the video will be up tomorrow. Check it out. Um, and uh, see if you can get into the head and give yourself an extra piece of paper to be able yeah, to. Yeah, I will do that. And I will okay. double check the, the vertical lines. Yeah, sounds good. Right. All right. Thank Talk you. To you I'm hanging out with you. Nice hanging out with you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, the rest of you, we've still got half an hour. So let's see. What yeah, I think I'm going to abandon you. I have so much to do. I'm going. Not yeah. Soon. How do you feel, Paul? Should we maybe like just end this session here? It's up it to up you. If, yeah, as, yeah, if you think... If you think it will be, we can finish it next week. Then yeah, I, yeah, I mean, we're I totally work. we're gonna work on it next week for sure. Okay, absolutely. Okay. All right, hi, Sunny. Here, hold on. I'm gonna remove the spotlight. Yeah. Put you guys all in gallery view. Hey, Sunny. Hi, Sunny. Hi. Yeah, Diana. I appreciate you being here, even though you're so busy. Paul, I appreciate you being here, even though you're sad about your. Oh, so sorry about your dog. It's really yeah. sad, and I'm so no, sorry. Yeah, it's it's sad. it's really sad. I, I'm I'm like, uh, I'm just like I like that last week. I'm glad I wasn't here last because like last week I was just like, oh man, I'm just going. It's, you were crying. I, over. Yeah. Sure. No, I wasn't like I wasn't bawling or crying, but I was just like, oh, I can't, you know, can't. You killed him, is like, what you think? Yeah. I uh, yeah, I was feeling guilty, you know. But uh, now I'm better, but uh, yeah, it's still because you guys are the, dog people. Go to the pound. I told you guys because I think get you guys were dog. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you guys, but then I was like, you know, someone, someone, you guys are dog people and they're like, they get, they're getting, you're in the sense. So I was like, I didn't want you guys to get the wrong idea. Well, I knew you didn't have, I knew we hadn't heard about him. So we usually see him sometimes. Yeah, he's so. usually here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's a good dog. Every, He'll be remembered. So everybody, great job today. But Paul, great job with your lines. I like, can show you how far I've come with my Thank picture. You. Oh, that, that one's that looking much, but wow. nice. Diana. I like well, I haven't it. had time to paint for a while. All right. And so Diana, don't forget to uh give me an assignment. I already sent one to you. Excellent. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'll see you guys soon. Class, we have class on Thursday, class on Friday, class on Saturday, class on Sunday. I I can probably not do Friday, but maybe I'll try to jump in on Saturday. On Thursday and sa Saturday. Thursday it's, at three thirty. It's so crazy busy right now. I totally get you. I yeah. feel you. Do what you can. If you can, come and be with us. All right. Take care, you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye.